All right, as inflation surges and the economy inches towards recovery on the tail end of COVID-19 pandemic, many Canadians are feeling the pinch as the cost of living pressure increase. It's more important than ever to ensure you're collecting every dollar you can from your tax refund. Over the past several weeks, we have been running a TurboTax contest at cp24.com slash contests, where we have asked you to send in your tax questions for our expert. Everyone who sends in a question is eligible to win one of uh, TurboTax's tax solutions TurboTax Full Service, TurboTax Assist, or Review, or and Review, or TurboTax Online. Now, we're going to put some of your questions to Tony Salgado, who is a Chartered Professional Accountant, here with us today. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. You know, this is, uh, sometimes I think, a bit of a stressful time of year for people, but when they find out you can get a little bit of money back if you do yeah. things right, uh, less stress and more excitement. Do you find that at all? Well, this is the most exciting time of the year, oh, right? Oh, well, there you go. Like, for depends, account, yeah, for sure. it depends who you are. This could be one of the most exciting times of the year. Uh, I, I love talking to people and clients and everyone that wants to ask me any questions because financial health is really important. Uh, we spend a lot of time talking about mental health, and, mm. and another aspect of health can also be financial health. And this is like the perfect time for people to sit down and be like, am I financially healthy with my affairs? one of those things that you need to consider is tax. Yep, and that's why we brought you in, and we're really grateful that you're going to be able to answer some of these questions that people have submitted. And, and sometimes they seem really broad, and they seem really simplistic, but they can really lead people off on the right step to getting one of those refunds like you're talking about. So this one comes from Scarlett. Uh, Scarlett says, I have no idea what credits or deductions to take advantage of. Help me. Yeah. So sometimes you're starting at square one. Maybe what are some of the most obvious or not so obvious ones? Yes, very broad, right? Someone's asking a question, what deductions or credits can I take? One of my messages for people is not all credits are created equal. Mm. So given the limited time we have today, we could be here all day, right. but I don't think we can, right? No, I don't so <laughs> I don't think we can be here all day. So focusing on the credit side, not all credits are equal. So what does that mean? Some, some credits are refundable and some credits are non-refundable. If we take a look at the GS, GST and HST credit, that's a quarterly credit that you may be entitled to if you have low income. So everyone is in a different situation, whether they're single or married, whatever, how many kids you have, all of those things factor into, do you qualify for the GST, HST credit? That credit is then paid quarterly. So if you do qualify for that, one of the easiest ways to qualify for that is to go online, go to TurboTax, file your tax return, and you can actually get that credit already, automatically. You don't have to apply separately. You don't have to fill out other forms. So long as you meet the income requirements, you file your tax return, and you can claim the GST credit. Yeah, it's not like you have to become a, a, a chartered accountant. To, no. You just follow the steps as you go through TurboTax, and it will tell you what to check off, and then you will just... Yeah, and it's follow. great. Like, we talk a lot about financial literacy and, and how we have to increase financial literacy in younger people. This is a great program. You can go on, look at what you're available, what's available to you, and see the credits and, and deductions that you can go for. Perfect. Okay, this one come in, comes in from Maya. Uh, my parents typically send my taxes to their accountant, and I'm worried that I won't be able to file my taxes correctly on my own. How can I set myself up for success as a first-time filer? And I feel like you almost just answered that question yeah. by going step-by-step step through. Right. Like, if you're under 25, you can file on TurboTax for free before March 31st. And if you're under 25 and if you have a low income, you're probably going to qualify for that GST credit. Right. So these are all steps that you can take on to increase your financial literacy. Uh, and, and tax is not all financial literacy. That's one subset of it. But it's a great time to sit back and look at your budgeting, look at your tax situation, and see what type of those credits you qualify, what deductions you qualify for. And just because you qualify for something right. doesn't mean it's going to result in something great. Right. Okay. Well, let's move on. I think it might in some cases, so that's enough to put a little bit of hope in. Yeah. Uh, 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 Daniel says, I'm an 18-year-old. Do I really need to be contributing to my RRSP? Interesting. And this is exactly what I mean. So if you have an RRSP deduction available to you, should you take it? Mm. And maybe you shouldn't if your marginal tax rate is not high enough. So a deduction is only as good as your marginal tax rate. Right. And so a deduction may be worthless to someone that has very low tax rates because the savings is a percentage of your marginal tax rate times your deduction. And so if you have low income, that deduction is not going to provide you very much value. But let's say you have put money into an RRSP and you want to benefit from a deduction and you know your income is going to go up in the future maybe the right thing to do is to save that deduction for the future, 
Take mm -hmm. it in the future and don't take it in a year where you don't have a high marginal tax right. rate. So if you're not making much money, it probably doesn't make sense. If you're making a lot of money and that would be good on you, it might right. be worth looking into. Exactly. Okay, uh, let's uh, try to get to this one quickly while the time we have. Elijah, being a student can be expensive. How can I offset some of those expenses this tax season? So the, student, the tax credit for going to school and, and, and that credit is great, but sit back with your family and take a look at who should be benefiting from that credit. So that credit for being a post-secondary student is a great credit. It's a non-refundable credit, and it could be utilized by the student or a family member. Take a step back, talk to your family, and take a look at who should be using it. That's awesome. And you mentioned that TurboTax also has some incentive now. Is that free? Yeah. Under, b b under 25, you can file for free under uh, below, below March 31st or uh, before March 31st. Well, that's a big thumbs up for me. I'm not under 25. I, I was, like, was going to get confused. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe if I use a little bit more tint in my beard. Okay, thank you so much, You're Tony. Welcome. A reminder that you can submit your tax questions for a chance to win one of TurboTax's great tax solutions, TurboTax Full Service, TurboTax Assist and Review, or TurboTax Online. Visit our website, cp24.com contests, or slash contests at cp24.com slash contests. Everyone who sends in a question is eligible to win. You can catch these segments on Tuesday at this time for the rest of the month. Thanks again to Tony.